The Bureau of Labor Statistics says egg prices are 70% higher than a year ago. So if you're scrambling to find new breakfast ideas, there are lots of alternatives. We have Anna Brzezowski. She is Community Nutrition Manager for Operation Food Search. Thank you so much for this. Because yes. a lot of families literally are scrambling trying to figure out how they can get a high protein, uh, inexpensive meal in the morning. So what do you recommend here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the cost of eggs have definitely touched a lot of us and we've noticed it in our grocery bills. Um, so today I've offered a couple of other options for breakfast that um, have protein uh, that you can avoid avoid with eggs. Okay. Um, so first we've got our green smoothie. Mm -hmm. um, so this has is packed full of vitamins and minerals. Um, it's got your bananas, your blueberries, but then I also included some Greek yogurt okay. um, as that protein source. Okay. Um, so that's a, a lovely option. Okay. Um, We've also got a breakfast quinoa. Okay. Which, have you ever had breakfast quinoa before? I have not. I think of it usually as a savory like lunch or dinner dish. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what most people think of when they think of quinoa. Um, but it's actually packed with protein um, and it really just absorbs whatever flavor you mm -hmm. put in there. Um, so I did a cinnamon and brown sugar breakfast quinoa. Very nice. Um, and then I also added some fruit on top for another uh, little extra sweet treat. Um, okay. So that's another wonderful high protein breakfast option. Sounds good. Oh, it sounds good. We do have the veggies going in here. Of course, you know, we can't forget the veggies. Um, so anytime I think of eggs, um, I really think of that, that wonderful mouthfeel that you get from like a scrambled egg. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, these other options don't really satisfy that. So um, I've also included a stuffed mushroom recipe okay. um, to really give you that, that similar mouthfeel as that egg. Um, and then my coworker just said <laughs> that uh, this is another alternative to maybe like a deviled egg. Um, oh, good idea. <laughs> good idea. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. I know at Operation Food Search, you help families facing food insecurity fight that by also teaching them how to cook the food they receive. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So at Operation Food Search, um, we do feed over 200,000 individuals every single month. Um, we are a food bank first and foremost. Um, but with my team, we are in charge of um, nutrition education. Okay. Um, so we provide nutrition education in a variety of ways. And we, we really help teach individuals um, why nutrition is important. Um, and more importantly, you know, how to use the food that we provide for them. And especially, the, uh, do you find that a lot of families, they get this food and they're just kind of like, okay, what do I do with this? How do I cook it? Absolutely, yes. Maybe it's a food that they've never cooked with before mm -hmm. um, or tasted. Um, and so we show them different ways how to use it um, and really trying to prevent them from having to get rid of it or throw it away. Um, so we, yeah, we show, we provide a lot of different recipes in a lot of different ways. All right, everybody, you guys can find more information. You can also find a link to those classes at operationfoodsearch.org. They have recipes, cooking lessons, shopping tips, everything to help you make sure that you're not only getting enough to eat, but you're getting enough healthy stuff to eat. Anna Brzezowski, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back to you in the studio.